you're the executive chef of Harbor House, preeminent seafood restaurant or ocean water restaurant, I guess, right? Yes, thank you. Yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, for the region, uh, but your boss, Paul Bertolotta, mm -hmm. has got one of the most famous yeah. Yeah. No Restaurants. pressure. Right, exactly. No pressure. <laughs> yeah. He won the James Beard for ocean and freshwater cooking. Yeah, it's definitely, a, it's it's a huge honor. You know, I love being able to uh, head up this restaurant, this concept. It was something that was a little foreign to me when I first started. Going on four years now, it's something that I'm finally feeling very comfortable with. Um, I'm never going to know it all. You know, right. there's always that new species, a new varietal. You know, that new fish that's kind of going to be the trendsetter for that year. You know, if it's going to be blue fish because small oily fish are going to make a comeback, then I want to know what to do with it and how to not only, you know, pursue it during its season and know when it's going to be the best, but know who's going to get the best, mm -hmm. you know. And in order to do the fish justice, you really got to know everything about it, you know, who you're getting it from, where they're getting it. And then what to do with that? I mean, that's the thing. Like, it's even tougher, I think, for a chef like you. Because farm to table, yeah, it's great to, to see the dirt on the tomatoes and when you get them. But for you, there's a far deeper process to know, like, is this ethical? Is this overfished? Yeah. Is this healthy for the earth that I'm putting on the menu, right? Absolutely, absolutely. Like, this is, you know, this is a great example, this schooner bay salmon. Uh, it's what I call, and what they call, uh, it's like a free-range product. You know, the way that they allow their salmon to lead a very natural life fight natural currents you know it's not in a pen yeah. you know it gets to eat you know what it should eat you know so it has fin structure it has you know intermuscular fat distribution so it's really the pinnacle of what I think a farm product should be it's and very it, responsible and with that kind of fish if you eat great uh, fish of that caliber it's like a great cut of steak that was actually raised and finished off the right way absolutely yeah you, you can definitely if you're to side by side this with any other salmon um, you will know yeah. immediately like that is amazing salmon and it's you know the it's the pervasive mentality that we have throughout all of our fish buying uh, picking our vendors that we deal with whether it's, you know, small Indian tribes, you know, from the Pacific Northwest to, oh. you know, the latest special we ran at the restaurant was uh, out of Beaufort, North Carolina, and the name of the fishing vessel was the Ocean Pride, and the captain was John Paul Jones, you know, and it was an amazing, <laughs> amazing, beautiful black sea bass. No one else is like, well, I shouldn't say no one, but a lot of people just are happy getting fish. Right. I want to know where it came from, who, yeah. who handled it, yeah. when it was landed, because that just, you know, with a product like this, you want to taste that. You want to know, oh my God, that does make it so much better. Yeah. You know, yeah. It's, it's part of the experience, I think. 